Okay, here we are, May 9th, and the ninth day of the challenge, and incredibly good progress on the Night Titan number two. Um, basically, it's done. Um, what I did today was, of course, I did exactly what I wanted to do. I got the gloss varnish done, and then after the gloss varnish, I got all the details, decals done. And then what I did, instead of using an oil wash on it, I went ahead and used Newell Oil uh, in the um, panel lines. And on the rivets and that was just to, I was both those both an experiment and um, trying to save some time and it worked out it's not quite as dark as using the oil wash but it does get the job done and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and being using it on the over a gloss varnish means that the uh, uh, it's still you can still wipe it away it just doesn't have as long of a working time you got to be really quick and um, aware of what you're doing when you're using the acrylic wash instead of an oil wash on panel lines and stuff like that. Um, but it's still, all the panel lines are standing out just like I want them to. It looks great. So, literally all I have to do is let the, the new oil dry, uh, which shouldn't take very long, and then give it its final varnish. And then this project will be complete. Um, I'm not going to show you the other Titan. The other Titan is absolutely completely done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a showcase video for these two guys and put that in a separate video instead of showing you the final, final um, Night Titan number one and Night Titan number two. But yeah, so very happy with decals. Again, these um, the decals that came come with this Night Titan are so incredibly well made. Um, some of the best decals I've ever worked with. They're just amazing. They take to the um, Microsol very well. They, um, I said they're the perfect thickness. They're not. They're not too thick, that they, that they can't get. That you can't work with them. But they're not too thin that they tear. They have no edges. I mean, these decals are amazing. Just absolutely amazing. Nothing at all like the decals that you normal decals you get with the GW kits. Um, I can't say enough about them. So I added a few more detail, little little decals here. I got this little one right here. Added some of this stuff up here, just to you know break it up, break up the yellow a little bit more. But overall, yeah, this guy looks great, too. And so that's it for my update on night. So question of the day. You decide to take your newfound superpower and use it for either good or evil. Um, how would you use it? And what would your superhero villain name be? Um, I probably wouldn't use it for either. I'm kind of a neutral kind of guy. So um, chaotic neutral is where I would stand on my superpowers. Um, so how would I use my super speed? Probably, I said I probably wouldn't quite be a good guy like the Flash, but I wouldn't be, wouldn't be out there killing either. So I guess I'd be completely neutral. And what would your superhero villain name be? I would probably be, I don't know, Storm Boy? I like that. We'll go Storm Boy. Uh, so, this is going to be one of the faster videos. Again, um, progress is very good. So what that means is tomorrow night I will start finally get in and start the uh, hairspray chipping on the bad moves truck. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.